Welcome back to the channel. Ever wondered how different magnifications change the way you see the moon? Using this Maxutov telescope, for example, in this video we will we'll put it to the test using different Barlow lenses. So this telescope, this Maxutov 127 SLT Maxutov telescope, uh, has a native focal length of 1500 mm. I will use the native focal length of this telescope, I will use a three-fold Barlow lens and I will also use a five-fold Barlow lens. In addition, I will also check whether it makes a difference if you use a atmospheric dispersion corrector, short ADC. So enjoy the video. Let's start with the native focal length of this telescope of 1500 mm. We get a beautiful and crisp image of the moon with all the details and craters. Because of the weather and since the moon was very low in the sky, you can see quite a lot of atmospheric turbulences. The atmospheric distortion, usually visible as color fringing, isn't too bad here in this magnification. This is all raw camera data. Here you can see the Molke crater with approximately 4 kilometers or 2.5 miles in diameter. Using a threefold fold Barlow lens with higher magnification, you can see the image is much darker, you have much more color fringing and you can also see more pronounced atmospheric turbulences. Now change to the 5-fold Barlow lens. Due to the high magnification, you can see a shift of the object out of the field of view. On the left side, I used no atmospheric dispersion corrector, and on the right side, I did. You can see that the color fringing on the right side is much lower compared to the left side with no ADC. The recording is also a little sharper, I think, on the right side using an ADC. And here you have a complete comparison. And now let's take a look at slightly processed images. I'm a mess, I'm sad, do it all myself. you never find me trying to be someone else. No, I don't care. I really, really don't care. If you didn't, then you might see it now. Just haunted by the ghost here in this heartbreak house, but I don't care. So what did we learn today? Barlow lenses are awesome to get a closer look at the moon, but atmospheric distortion or color fringing uh, can have a serious uh, effect on your final images. That's where the atmospheric distortion corrector or ADC comes in. It really makes a huge uh, difference uh, whether you are using an ADC or not. When using an ADC, uh, you have a, a much lower color fringing due to the uh, atmospheric distortion. What you will also uh, see is a slightly or much sharper image using an ADC. ADCs can especially be uh, helpful when using higher magnifications. Let's speak about magnifications and Barlow lenses. So in certain limits, it really can help to increase uh, the magnification and the amount of details you can see using your telescope when using a, a Barlow lens. But as I said, only in certain limits. So the magnification really has to fit to your telescope. Um, at a certain point or in a certain range, in this case, for example, 
using three fold parallel lens versus five fold parallel lens, you cannot see more details because you have a limited resolution. And the, relution, the resolution of the telescope is strongly dependent uh, on the aperture of your telescope. So with the, using a five-fold parallel lens, you have a higher magnification, yes, but you cannot see more details because your resolution is limited. So in this case, it would make no sense to use a five-fold parallel lens with this telescope. Uh, I would rather uh, recommend to use a three-fold parallel lens in this case. And this can really push uh, your image quality and the magnification and still seeing more details. If you're also interested in more uh, lunar imaging, I also did a video in the past um, checking also the same area of the moon with the Apollo landing site. So watch this video here or there and uh, would also help me to if you would subscribe to this channel or give me a like and if you want to support me financially you can do this using my new patreon page uh, it's rather new i would say so i did not make a big presentation about it but i have a page patreon now and i also have my first uh, supporter and this supporter uh, selected the highest uh, level if you wish so I really want to thank you very much for this uh, great support and uh, yeah maybe you also want to support me you can do this here or using the link in the video description now I reached 1500 subscribers uh, I also want to thank you for this that's amazing um, thank you and yeah, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Clear skies.